back to a signing day. Were you expecting that you were going to sign with Louisiana um, in the 24-hour period before then, or how did that all unfold? Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I was basically going to sign with Louisiana, and then Georgia came in at the uh, at the um, which they had been talking to me a little bit, talking there may be some stuff happening, and then um, they came in and offered me, and so I committed to Georgia. Was it that day they offered you, or the night before, or yeah, uh, it was that day. That day, do you know yeah. what time it was? I don't. It was or it was early in the morning, but it was like it was really early because I wasn't expecting anything. It was kind of funny. I woke up and I had some missed calls from uh, Coach Coach Smart and uh, Coach Coley, and I was like. Jeez, what's what happening? And uh, it kind of scared me a little bit. And so then I called him back, and so that's when it happened. Did you accept right away, or did you? No, no, no. It was a pretty big decision. So I had, to, I had to talk to my parents, you know, talk with everybody, talk with both coaches, talk to Louisiana, too, you know. And so then I decided later in the day. Um, what happened between the summer that you decided to go JUCO and that signing day that kind of made you – because, you know, Kirby was telling us, you know, we're exhausted and all options to try and keep him here you know, doing all that and then you know you leave I guess to, to find some more playing time and then you know then you're back what I guess what kind of happened in that time to make you want to come back um well you know being on scholarship is a big thing you know and so came back here um I didn't I really didn't go about my business you know when I was first here the way I should have working every day um you know I didn't learn the playbook well enough, was, and so looking back, you know, after I left, you know, looking back on that process, I saw that, hey, you know, first of all, I thought I was good enough to play here talent-wise, you know, but I didn't really, you know, put myself you know, in the best position for me. I didn't do enough myself to be as good as I could be, and so I... I realized that, and then uh, being on scholarship, and I was like, and this is home, you know, so that was a big part, too. So you did not have a scholarship offer, or they weren't going to put you on scholarship necessarily? Uh, I really can't remember. Was it, uh, was it, is it enlightening to you, as it probably was to everybody else, that the Rose Bowl preparation was where you really sort of made a name for yourself, you know, on yeah. the team, because everybody was talking about what a great look you were giving them for, for Baker Mayfield and that Oklahoma. Um, well, I would say enlightening because, well, I mean, that was my offense, you know, in high school, and so it was more fun. You know, to do all that stuff. Um, but I mean, no, we every week, you know, we would go out there. You know, that was that was probably our favorite. You know, beating the one defense. You know, because what else were we looking forward to? You know, we were, I mean, we weren't going to play on Saturdays, and so we were looking forward every day going out there and beating the one defense. And so that was our games, and we knew that we could do it. And then you know, Rose Bowl with all the publicity and all that stuff, people people started talking, and that was nice. And so that's great. You know, but yeah. One of the players said you were like 17 of 18, I guess, in a, in a practice. Yeah. Is that accurate? Do you remember? I mean, do you remember any kind of practices? Uh, I think uh, Coach Juan gave me a compliment. You know, and those are kind of rare, so I think I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you tell us the story behind the uh, postman's hat and the nickname? Yeah, the all right, yeah, good question. <laughs> so, um, so when I was in high school, um, short guy, you know, going to quarterback camp's not going to really – uh, draw too much attention to yourself, um, and so my one of my best friends from high school, his uh, dad was the mayor in our small town, so he had like a lot of cool stuff, and he had the postman head. So I just put it on one day, and I uh, went to a camp, and I did pretty well. I think I may have won it, but um, but they saw the postman hat, and then DJ Dallas, who is plays for Miami now, he um, he put something out on Instagram and did like hashtag mailman or something like that, and so that's kind of where it all started. And then I wore it a lot. I still have it. Yeah, uh, one of my buddies has it. He goes to North Georgia, and um, he's had it for about a year now. You know, and so I, I've been telling him I need it back, but I haven't given it back yet. <laughs> that was in Blackshear. Yeah, Blackshear. Um, so coming in, coming into this season with your back, I mean. <laughs> How do you handle that situation now? Because I think everybody assumes, you know, like Jake Crumb's the guy going into this year. So how do you handle that? What are the goals that you have coming into the spring? Going right. to the so I mean, I'm not my goals are to, you know, I know 
in my mind if I do something good or if I do something wrong. You know, I'm, I'm the biggest critic. If I if I throw a completion but it's it's right here instead of right here, I'm I'm not happy. You know, and so my biggest thing: learn the offense in and out. You know, get with Jake, let him teach me because you know he's been here, he knows everything in and out. And um, so just learn everything, be the best I can. Um, you know, because that's that's how I judge me. If if I'm the best I can be, then you know that's what I want to do. You know, I, I don't want to be lower than my best. How is the offense now compared to when you left here? Um, I mean, did you jump different, in? It's different coach signal. You know, really, there's really not much, not much different. Um, I didn't really see what they did last year, um, so I can't really speak on that. But when I was here, you now I was doing a lot of scout team, but I knew the offense. Um, but I mean, pretty similar. How closely did you follow the team when you were away last year? I watched a few games. I actually went to the LSU game because we were, we were two hours from there. My JUCO was, um, and then. I watched the Alabama game, and it sounds like you're a bad luck charm. <laughs> I never thought about that. I should probably leave. Then. So, um, no. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Those are the only two games I think I watched. Yeah. Did it suck to say that the two year, the year away, not only improved you as a player but as a person? And yeah. Sure. Very, very true. Um, I think you know running the team over there, uh, being the guy, mm -hmm. uh, playing experience, um, knowing how lucky I was to be here, you know, in the first spot because you know junior college it's not as nice as this, you know, um, you know great people, great coaches, uh, great football, but it's not the same. And so being away um, made me realize how lucky I was in that. I deserve nothing, you know, nothing's going to be handed to me. And so I got to work and be a better person, be better at football, and all that stuff. Oh, you know, much, uh, yeah, you one. talk about that perspective. Uh, I assume every now and then you get some reps with the one offense here, and, and even Georgia's two okay. offense, there's some incredible okay. athletes. Yeah. Can you kind of just kind of tell the difference when you're playing in an offense with those type of parts uh, than, than yes. what you've worked with previously? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a different speed, you know, it's a different speed. And you grow to love it because cause then w once you get on the same page as those guys, you don't want to go back down to a lower speed, you know, because then you get frustrated. But, yeah, up here, I mean, these guys, um, they know their stuff. They know what to do, you know. Everybody's uh, knows their responsibilities, you know. And then they're, they're good athletes, guys pretty good athletes. You know, so. <laughs> How's your relationship um, with Jake? I mean, you guys talk a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, um, Jake's a great oh, guy. Um, I was gonna go to rodeo yesterday with him, but my girlfriend, <laughs> my girlfriend came into town, so she has priority. But, um, but yeah, we're cool. He's a great guy. Um, talk, talk a lot. And, yeah. um, can you pinpoint a specific moment when you were down there in junior college where you kind of realized how thankful you were to be here? Because you spent the night earlier. So yeah. Uh, first time I pulled into campus, really. Yeah. Um, you know, the dorms, they weren't awful, but they weren't, you know, great. They weren't easy to be, you know. But, um, yeah, basically that. The facilities. Okay. You look at his situation height wise that he's obviously not you know a taller quarterback. Yeah. Yep. Situation maybe I don't know how close you guys are in size, but just to see that some of that size can be successful too. Yeah. Um Yeah, and, and I mean there's a there's a ton of guys now, you know. Um, <coughs> not everybody's big Ben size anymore, you know, which helps me. Um I guess it helps me. It really doesn't help me because it matters how good I am. You know, at the end of the day, if I can play football, you know, then yeah. it's up to me. So who, who have you talked to or studied to Aaron Rodgers? Because he's the best. Even though he's. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I think, well, he's, I mean, I think he's, he's like six one, six two. Yeah. He's not huge, but just he's the best. I mean, a lot, a lot of people would say, look at Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson. Yeah, I watch Russell, mm -hmm. um, but. I hadn't really watched Kyler. I watch Baker sometimes because Baker's a baller. Um, I hadn't really watched Kyler. How long have you been a short quarterback, to use that term, and, and kind of known that you've had to adjust? And, and yeah. Um, that? Well, there really hasn't been an adjustment period because I've always been short, you know, and so I've always had to get around, you know, maneuver. Um, but the way I think of it, those linemen are like 6'7". 
you know, and so you're going to have to be six, eight, six, nine, six, seven to be able to see over those guys, and that just doesn't happen. Everybody's got to find windows. Mine may be a little bit smaller, you know, but I still got to find them. Was getting the scholarship here, though, a few months ago almost kind of the big moment for that where finally, like, this – you know, you were given a credibility, maybe? Yeah. That, that um, I've never really searched for that, you know. I've always had pretty – I've been pretty confident. I would have been fine going to Louisiana, you know, like pride-wise. It, it wasn't an itch I had to scratch to come back here. I just – I love this place, you know. And, um, I, yeah, it felt good, you know, because I've always wanted to be here. Um, but it wasn't like a um, – what that that's not the moment I was going for, you know. What was the moment? Uh, well, I want to play here. You know, that's what that's what I want. That's why everybody comes here. So, why did you why did you leave again? Uh, what was the reason? Why did I leave here? Um, I didn't I didn't think I was going to be able to play, and um, that goes back to me not really doing my part. Okay. You know. Did you have to study Baker a lot for that Rose Bowl? I mean, did you, or is that just one of the things where coaches said here to play? You yeah, just go play. Oh, okay. Yeah, and they had the cards, the cards written down with their plays, and so they said just go play, scramble, you know, do your stuff. Was your JUCO offense similar to this offense? Or was it just obviously going? No, back? it was different, and it was so JUCO's weird. Um, you bring guys in at the end of July. Um, you don't. We practice for like an hour. Um, we met for like 30 minutes, so they're just small playbook, you know, just not very much stuff. Gotcha. Couldn't do a lot of stuff. As a fan watching Baker Mayfield, sometimes it seems like doubters, people who've done it in the past, he used those few, almost like he has an edge chip on his shoulder. People compare you two for obvious reasons. Um, how much of that is part of your story as well? Do you feel like that you are out to prove people wrong or out to show yeah. people that you're better than what your profile might say? Yeah, um, I don't really care what people think, you know, but. Yeah, I guess a little bit. Yeah, that's got to be something, right? Sure. Yeah, sure. I think so. With your offense and the playbook, I know your interceptions are probably on paper don't look mm -hmm. that great for Juca. Ju um, how have you done in six practices here? And is that an issue that you've been trying to work on, or, or not necessarily? Uh, yeah, I just they're dumb. You know, looking back, why would I throw that? You know, and just going through, knowing the playbook in and out, knowing the structure of it, knowing why we're going to do this and that. Um, knowing that, hey, I'm not going to throw that ball because there's four people there, you know. Um, just common sense stuff, really. Just playing ball, but playing ball smart, you know. You probably already answered this, and I apologize, but people say, well, you know, Baker, uh, excuse me, sets up the offense. Um, does it still feel as familiar? You've been away for a little while. It is a new offensive coordinator now. Stepping back in here, does it still feel as comfortable and familiar as it did uh, before you left? Yeah, that's so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there was a there's a little learning curve because it had been six months, um, but it was good to have that background. You know, it did help a lot. Two more questions. You said you didn't think you'd be able to play here. Jake was here. Justin was here. Mm -hmm. did, did that? Did you, did you also look at it and kind of say, oh, there's a there's a path now? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was. Yeah, that's what I'd say. Mm -hmm. I'd say. Mm -hmm. Last question. In what ways do you have more confidence now, now that you're back returning? You, I had all that juco you, you started. Yeah. In what ways have you Um. I just, I just am, I guess. Um, I can have better perception. I, I don't know how to answer this. Um, yeah, just a year away. Um, you know, focus on myself, focus on fundamentals, um, playbook. Um, knowing the ins and outs of it, um, that's what I'd say. I just more aware of what I need to do, and so therefore I can do it. You know. Thank you. Thank you.